I didn't expect it to be so gold. I like gold. Isn't that <laughs> weird? Yeah. We're in Myanmar. That's adventure. We had spent just over two weeks in Myanmar, but it was sadly our last full day to explore before flying to Hong Kong and then returning home. We had a few last minute things on our list to visit before our flight home. So we set out early to pack as much into our day as possible. Is that your jam? That is my jam. Is it your jam? I hope it don't get demonetized. Oh, all right. no, we're not monetized. It's always a worry for someone that isn't us. Might as well pump out the jams. Yeah, we're never gonna monetize it anyway. Nope. Our first stop was at Batatang Pagoda. We had tried to walk here on our first day in Yangon, but it failed, bumbling tourist style. It looks like there's an admission fee, but we'll see how much it is. I think we have to go in here. Batatang Pagoda is located close to the Yangon River and is surrounded by bustling commercial facilities. The name Batatong literally translates to 1,000 military officers. Batatong Pagoda was built 2,500 years ago and houses a hair of Buddha, which is enshrined in the stupa. I didn't expect it to be so gold. I like gold. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. I love gold! The sacred hair relic was gifted to the King of Burma by India over 2,000 years ago. During World War II, the pagoda was destroyed by the British Air Force while they were trying to attack the Japanese who occupied Burma. I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> After gaining independence from the UK in 1948, work began to carefully rebuild Batatang Pagoda and restore the Buddha relic encased inside. Unlike most stupas, you can enter Batatang and see the relic for yourself. The interior of the stupa is covered in gold from floor to ceiling. It's more like a museum really than a, than a temple. I guess it can be both. It doesn't need to just be one thing. Yeah, it's hard to look directly because it's so funny. I don't quite understand. You throw these little plastic pieces into the spinning thing. So there are two strands of hair enshrined here. And uh, the building was bombed during World War II, but the relics were saved.
temple pigeons. <laughs> Pretty cool to get to go inside, uh, cold and stupid like that. Yeah. I, I wondered why the shape was so interesting. We were walking around and then oh, we we're out here. Like a zigzaggy. Yeah, and it occurred to me, oh, we were inside there. It was like a museum. It was really interesting, and also the relic. Pretty cool experience. Yeah. I'm glad we went in. I think it was worth the six thousand entrance for tourists. Yeah. I bet you'd be beautiful at sunset. I imagine. Let's go check out the market. Okay. Have you noticed that Skynet's everywhere? Like, Skynet's there, that blue thing, that Skynet, all behind you, Skynet's everywhere. How do you take it down when it's everywhere? Do you enlist the help of um, one Arnold Schwarzenegger? Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much difference it'll make. None, really. Skynet. <laughs> pepper, pepper, pepper. Pepper, 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 boy. Cute little pepper guy likes your shoe. He's gonna eat your shoe. What will you do? Ooh. See you later, Paul. Durr, he's gonna go to the temple. Cute little pepper. He's gonna sniff the bun of the other pepper. No, 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 no. This looks amazing. I got a veggie Japanese curry and you got a katsudon, which is like. A bowl of rice with a deep fried pork cutlet on top. <laughs> Try it, man. Don't burn yourself, though. I burn myself. <laughs> no, don't burn yourself. Mm. We wanted to mention that these videos were filmed in 2020. A lot has changed in the world and in Myanmar since. Myanmar was the friendliest and most welcoming country we have ever visited. As we release the videos in this series, it's 2022, and the citizens of Myanmar are risking their lives to protest a military overtake of their government. We are certainly no authority on what's going on, but we encourage you to keep up to date with what's happening.